Hi, I'm Peter Lux, Creative Beauty Director for Head & Shoulders and I'm really excited that this year we're celebrating our 50th anniversary. You know, fashion and beauty trends have changed dramatically over the last five decades. From the Audrey Hepburn updo, right through to the 80s perm and the current glossy waves. As well as it being the year that Head & Shoulders launched, 1961 was also the year that the classic Hollywood movie Breakfast at Tiffany, starring the beautiful Audrey Hepburn, hit the big screen. Every woman wanted to look like her and amazingly, that hasn't changed today. In fact, in a recent Big British Beauty poll, it was revealed that Audrey Hepburn is still the most iconic beauty of all time. So how do you capture that gorgeous Audrey look with a little modern twist? First, a quick wash. Personally, I like to think of Head & Shoulders as the little black dress of hair care. You know that when you use it, you always look and feel good. And wearing black is the ultimate torture test for any dandruff shampoo. So here's my modern take on Audrey's iconic updo. For me, it's all about a defined parting, which is why a healthy scalp is so important. Start by separating the back from the front, then back comb the roots by the crown. Gather all of the hair and tie it into a ponytail with an elastic. Then back comb the underneath of the ponytail. Roll the ponytail towards its base and secure with grips and pins and shape it. Take a defined parting and guide the hair all the way to the back and then pin underneath the bun. And there's your Audrey updo. The 80s was all about big hair and even bigger shoulder pads and now that look is back with a vengeance. Giving hair that much needed volume is probably one of the ultimate torture tests for hair and scalp. So here's a bit of advice on how to recreate 80s style big hair with minimum impact on your scalp and hair. For this look, take a straight parting from the corner of your forehead towards the crown and separate the front area from the back. Pull up the sides of your hair, brush smooth and gather at the crown. Then twist the hair and hold it in place with some pins. To finish off, twist all the remaining hair at the nape and fasten with a few grips. There, my modern take on the 80s. My final look recognizes that sometimes your scalp and hair need some time out and a little TLC. The Chelsea blow dry is very now, worn by princesses and featured on the catwalk. As long as you have a healthy scalp, everyone can achieve it. And the good news is, it's with minimum heat styling and products. Here's how. Start by taking large sections of the hair from the front through to the back. Lightly mist each section with hairspray and roll it up and secure with a pin at the roots. Blow dry each section on medium heat to be gentle to the scalp and leave to cool. Now take out all the pins and brush through. Create a defined parting off center, push into place and you're done. So no matter what fashionable style you're putting your hair through, remember to always look after your scalp because beautiful hair starts with a healthy scalp.